So I've had this concept the last few months as far as what do I want to talk about on this channel? What is the intention of this channel? What is the vibe tribe of this channel? I've been wanting to do weekly stuff because I feel like my life changes so rapid fire. And I think who I was in November when I filmed Sedona, which you never got to see, is not who I am today because by the time I went to edit the footage, I was like, this isn't an alignment with who I am anymore. Like a lot of the things energetically have shifted. So editing something that's old energy feels really disconnected to me and I know that's very woo-woo spiritual but hey that's that's who I am and so I've wanted to kind of just do weekly updates of like what I've learned this week so what I want to comment about this week yes I'm wearing my back brace as I suggested in my five things I mean look at this hair like this is a mess what I've realized about myself this week is if I look back to who I dated January 2023 to January of this year 2024 completely different people. I'm gonna look back at who I dated in 2019. Sheesh, I feel bad for that girl. She got a lot of things to learn from that one, but it's not without intention, right? I dated that person for a purpose. I learned from that per person for a huge reason. 2020, who I dated during 2020, I mean, he was a companion, he was soft, and the synchronicities of my life, this is, I guess, what I wanted to talk about weekly is the the person that I met in 2020 worked in the medical field and actually lost their parent to a very similar cancer as what I lost my mother to. And I met this person the week COVID started and we had that COVID relationship. And then two months in when my mom was diagnosed with cancer, they were the angelic spirit voice that said to me, Lisa, take off as much time as you can from your work and spend it with your mother. And if not for that wisdom of that beautiful human, I would have just, you know, sold houses because it was my busiest year. I sold 87 homes that year. Like I would have just churned it out and I wouldn't have had the four days in bed with my mom that I was so blessed and grateful and I cherish and I reflect and think back on probably monthly. So I think people come into our lives, there's that saying season, reason, and I forget the third one. But all of these past relationships have been a reason and I don't want to ignore that. And so where I'm at right now with dating is I'm stepping into a relationship where for the first time, I'm being so vulnerable. Normally Lisa has walls that are like 30 feet high, right? Like I normally build a moat of a castle around a fire pitted dragon and I sit on the 90th floor up in the clouds hoping someone will be strong enough to get through all of that armor to get into my life and my heart. And in this castle, I am in a space of, I wish, I crave, I desire to be loved so lovingly. So they're so contradictory, right? So in this current relationship that I'm exploring, I'm being a lot more softer than I've ever been. Things come up or whatever. I'm actually stepping back from myself being like, wow, do you realize the transformation? Do you realize the shift? Do you realize the monumental movement of you as a human? Did you catch yourself? Did you just catch, did you just catch that? Did you, did you just see where you, where you are right now? Like, what a goddess. And I'm really proud of myself. Couldn't have got to this place without the pain and struggle and growth and hard work. I mean, you'll, you can ask Amy my breath work lady. She, she will say, I am assuming, but I'm pretty confident in this review, that I am one of the hardest working people as far as working on myself. I did not come here to play small. I came into this human existence to kick ass and take names. Like I truly believe that we choose our parents and we incarnate with our kind of life plan already like sketched out based on who we pick for a parent. And I pick some ratchet, ratchet people. And we all have grown individually and the struggle of those relationships bled into my other relationships. But I've since in the last, probably since my brother died in July, 2022, that was the more powerful shift versus my mom passing. It's definitely leaned into vulnerability. I know the last person that I dated this summer was incredibly soft and a beautiful heart. And that really helped me. So I couldn't have gotten to this version of Lisa if I hadn't had the pain of those breakups. And I did recently learn in that summer romance through, through my therapist that you can try to perfect yourself single a lot and you can work really hard on yourself, but the actual work is done in relationship. In my past, I would think to myself, okay, this relationship isn't working, let me run. Let me pack my bag. Let me, you know, 
cancel this, let me go out with a new person, let me go find a new op opportunity. Now I'm learning that through that person, through that relationship, through that communication, through those feelings, is the way to end the cycle, is the way to cancel the programming of your past and break free from it. You know, new season of my life, 2024, coincidentally, right after my womb healing in Kauai, just gonna say, maybe not a coincidence, the timing, I'm dating differently and it feels different. And I don't, you know, I don't wanna give myself all the credit. Maybe the person is obviously I've chosen differently. I think a really big aspect of it is that I'm being different. I'm being vulnerable, I'm being open, I'm sharing, I'm being soft, I'm being really squishy and really intentional. Obviously I wanna, you know, check that this person is a realistic, you know, good intention. So I don't wanna just run out the gate and like treat someone like a rock star. When someone shows up in a certain way and when someone puts in an effort in a certain way, maybe, maybe take down your walls, right? Like maybe that first encounter be more of your authentic feminine self. Um, since my brother Eric, for sure, but before that, I really had this hard shell and I really protected myself with like 15 layers of bubble wrap and like a steel door and like a, a lock with no key. Like I kind of intentionally kept myself single because I was so afraid of the pain that love can be based on my experiences with my parents. So what I experienced when I was five, six, seven years old is what now at 39, I quit doing and at 40, nearly 41, am shifting. So I just wanted to do like a little weekly quickie to say good for fucking me. I mean, no shame in patting myself on the back for this one sis. Like I wish this for you. This past weekend, January 20th was a powerful shift. And it was energy that had started from 2008. If you can only remember how terrible 2008 was, it was an awful year. Um, we're finally moving out of that. And this year is all about shadow work, getting more in alignment with self, being more um, connection to self. I can't wait. I can't wait for us as a collective, as a community, as a beautiful space. Like, I'm pumped. I wanna swear so bad, but I don't know if that's allowed. Would I, would YouTube police come get me? I don't even know. I hope this inspires you to Get rid of the moat, get rid of the fire eating dragon. I mean, Avi, you wanna make sure that this person is deserving of you because if you're an HSP, if you're an empath, if you're a soft soul like myself, if you come from trauma, you tend to attract people who may not be the best people. I'm way better at scrubbing those people out of my life over these last few years so they don't come around anymore. If you are like 20s and 30s, you may still be allowing those yucky vampires in, so just be careful of who you're soft and vulnerable with. But if on a first date someone sets, sets intentions with you, of they're looking for a future, they are interested in a serious relationship, they ask genuine kind questions about you, they listen, and they're polite, maybe, maybe let them in a little bit, right? If they talk about themselves, if they're demeaning, if they make jokes at your expense, don't even say goodbye, just get up and walk out. <laughs> you have my permission. Um, and I have done that, mm-hmm. I mean, I would probably guesstimate, and my friends can elaborate in the comments below, I have probably been on a thousand first dates. Wish for you to find alignment with yourself so that you can drop those walls, that fear, do the work, and call in a beautiful soul. I wish nothing more for you. That's, that's my wish and blessing to each and every one of you. If you already have your special soul, you're so lucky, so fortunate. I'm just saying this 2024, let's breathe in, let's breathe out. Let's be a different version of ourselves together. Okay, bye. <laughs>